السلام علیکم اینڈ گڈ مارننگ ٹو آل مائی اسٹوڈینٹس آف کلاس میٹرک آئی ہوپ یو ول بی فائن ٹوڈے آئی ول آرگنائز آن لائن کلاس فار یو آف سبجیکٹ کیمسٹری ان دس لیکچر وی ڈسکس چیپٹر سکس دیٹ از انوائرمنٹل کیمسٹری پارٹ ٹو واٹر As you know students, the name of chapter indicate. In this chapter, we learn about environmental chemistry and we learn also about what. The major concept that we discuss in this chapter that is water. Types of water that is soft and hard water. Water pollutants and water. water bond disease this topic discuss in this chapter today we'll discuss first topic of this chapter that is water as you know students water is the essential component of all living organisms our body is composed Seventy percent water. If we study molecular formula of water, that is H two O. This H two O indicates two hydrogen atoms combined with one oxygen atom. Then it form water molecule, that is H two O. As you know, students, water is essential part of all living organisms. We need water as well as different living organisms which is found around us. They also need water. First of all, we discuss here occurrence of water. as you know students what is an essential part of body of all living organisms we also need water and plant also use water for their growth and development and all living organisms for example animals they also need water First of all, we discuss here occurrence of water. As you know, students, look at this chart. In this chart, occurrence of water show. Water is found in oceans, rivers, glaciers, lakes, wells. and also it is also found in the form of ground water if we study different sources of water they also found in ocean water rivers glaciers lakes wells and also found in the form of ground water Seventy percent of the Earth surface covered with water, while land covers only thirty percent remaining part. If we study Earth surface, seventy percent of the Earth surface covered with water, and only thirty percent covered with land. Ninety-seven percent water found in in the form of salt water. Look at this chart. This chart shows 
seventy percent of the water covered on the surface of Earth, while only thirty percent remaining covered the land. Look at this diagram. Only three percent, only three percent fresh water is found. And this fresh water is found in lakes, rivers, while only one percent of water is found in the form of water vapors. What is the importance of water? As you know, students, all living organisms need water. For example, plants, animals, and human beings. Without water, no one can survive. Now, we discuss some important point about importance of water. Our organs need water. Without water, no organs can work properly. Different waste material. Like urine, like ammonia, and creatinine. This waste material removed from our body through urine, and this waste material first dissolved in water, and then removed from our body through urine. If we discuss example of plant, plant also need water. Without water, plants cannot survive. Different nutrients found in soil. This nutrient dissolve in water, and plant use this nutrient for their growth. For example, magnesium and nitrogen. These are nutrient, and this is these are found in soil. And plant absorb this nutrient from the soil. This nutrient dissolve in water of soil, and plant absorb this water from special structure called roots. These roots absorb water from soil and provide water and nutrients from soil to the plant. In this way, plant also need water for their growth and development. Now, if we, I will give another example. That is our body. Without water, we cannot survive. Our mus muscles become fatigue. And it is caused due to dehydration. That's why our body also needs water. We cannot survive without water. Our body is composed of ninety percent of water. If we study another importance of water, water is used for washing and sanitation purpose. We also use water for cooking purpose. Water is used also for growing food in agriculture field. Many thermal power plants use water for the production of electricity. Electricity is generated by the help of thermal power plant, and this thermal power plant use water for the production of electricity. If we study blood, our blood is composed of water. Different waste material dissolve in water, 
and remove from blood if we study plants plant also transpire water this process is called excretion if we study importance of water another example of importance of water is clean water clean water is used to prevent many fatal disease like cholera and typhoid when we add chlorine in water it kill different germs and this water and it become water clean and this chlorine is used to clean water of ponds i hope students you will learn different importance of water this water is very essential in our life our body cannot survive without water if we study example of plant plant also need water plants cannot survive without water plant use this water for their growth and development and also required this water for photosynthesis when carbon dioxide react with water they form carbon dioxide and release oxygen in the atmosphere this process is called photosynthesis and without water photosynthesis process does not takes place now